Hey beauties, welcome back to the global fashion workshop. I remind you that we post new videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. Today I'm working with a sheet dress again. We already modeled the cut in the last video. We have modeled the neckline, groove and checked the shoulders in advance. No need to do this later. The shoulders match perfectly. The side seams match perfectly too. We look at the sketch. I chose this fabric for one reason. I have these clocks with natural corals. And of course I sew a dress for these shoes. I bought them in Paris. And I'm so glad that I did. Now I will sweep and try on right away with these shoes. While I'll remove them from the table, I also remove this cage. I don't need this anymore. So I marked the point here. On the back, I swept the center of the back. And I remove it. We fold our pattern and we start working with it. The groove ends at this point. This is a cut that ends with the recess. Thus, we will not have a back under our breasts. This groove must be transferred to the other side and swept away. I'll sure I look gorgeous in a little red dress. A dress is a must for these shoes. These are a little grooves. If one side is shorter and the other is longer, in no case shorten the other. You will ruin everything. Here we will cut nicely under the breast. Likewise, I am now sweeping away the second. I fold the fabric, I cut off the excess. Two or three millimeters is not a lot, of course I know this, but we still have to cut them. I don't like inaccuracies in work. This line and point must be moved to the second side. It is impossible to draw each side is not structured separately. Mm -hmm. 
I swept out the chest grooves, lined everything up in the notch, so only the side slits and shoulders remained. And one side will need to be rounded. I really like it when everything is thought out in advance. Here in this place, where the beginning, it should be thin, like really thin. Look like this, thin, thin and thin. And higher I already go out for expansion. This is how the cut ends with the groove. And the overlock will end here. We fixed the type and that's it. Everything matches well here, so I'm really calm. Here's one groove and here's the second. Very beautiful. Now I'm sweeping the other side in the same way. I hope you remember that you need to be thin. I was sweeping away the groove. Now I will sweep the sides and shoulders. This side will be cut off on me. I'll cut it now. I really want a round bottom on this dress. Even if the dress seems white to me, I will leave it that way. Because on vacation I should feel really comfortable. This is the right side. So, I am cutting. I don't want to shorten it too much, because it is not long anyway. This is how I shorten. Draw the main thing as you like. Do not repeat after me, just do it for yourself. Now I'm sweeping this side. There will be a pocket on the right side. There will be a circular cut on the left side. There will be corals on my feet and I am sure I will look gorgeous. This dress is not for city, everyone told me that and uh, I think it's not only for seaside holiday, but I am planning to wear it when it's hot in our city, I am not want to wear it only on the beach. Let's see how everything looks. 
All I have to do is sweep the side seam and small shoulders and I'm ready to try it on. Here is the tried dress. It is not ready yet. I can wear this dress even in a wet swimsuit. Round cut on this side. There will be cambering lining. This is how the cut out looks from the back. I hope you like this little tutorial from me. Be different and beautiful. Subscribe to my channel, write comments, share the videos, press the like and bell buttons. We would really appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching. And we will see you in our next one. Bye!